I think it's funny when I call him Herbert, though. <laughs> Dude, have you smoked one too many cigarettes? I mean, cigarettes are probably bad for trees as well as people. Just saying. Welcome back, everybody, to Fallout on the Tale of Two Wastelands Overhaul with the Capital Punishment Mod List. I'm the Bearded OG, and we are working our way over to uh, the Regulator Headquarters to turn in our last bounty. And I came across this facility. This is about where I am, just south of the Regulator Headquarters. And it looks like there's... A bunch of raiders here, maybe? So I figured we'd start the recording here and see what this place is whilst we're on our way. <laughs> Over there. Okay, so we got a bad guy in there. Let's just kind of see what his patrol is. It's kind of hard to get a headshot from here. Let's get down a little bit lower. Okay, takes care of him. Yeah, I'm not sure what this place is. Um, I, I haven't come across it yet, though. Definitely raiders around it. All right, two down. I think they've heard the gunshots at least. I saw somebody walking around. Yeah, right there. Okay. Three down. Someone way over there. Oh, man. What a shot. <laughs> that was a long shot. Okay. Four down. Um, I found some more binocs. I figured maybe we start taking these with us because you can really zoom in quite a bit more than I can even with my scope. So we'll start using these for recon. Oh, there's someone right down there. See if we can get in position for a better shot here. Okay. Yeah, the binocs can zoom in quite a bit more than my scope can. All right, that's five down. We still have a caution. All right, let's move out. We'll go check out this first one we took out. And then we'll go in there and see what that place is all about.
Four pulse grenades. And some meds. Nice. Wait, an armory. Ooh, an armory, huh? Okay, there's... Oh, right there. You're not going to do anything but die. Okay. I heard a yaw. I'm gonna mount you on my fucking wall. I think you're stuck in a truck. All right. I still have a caution. Give us some more fingers to turn into the headquarters. No, we can't open the average lock yet. But we'll get there. I know I say that all the time, don't I? But we will. If I have anything to say about it, we will. Okay, so that goes inside the armory. Let's uh, finish <clears throat> clearing the outside first, though. Weapon repair kit. Very nice. See what's back in here. Frag grenades. Medical. Nails and 12 gauge rounds. Good job, dog meat. Okay, let's go check things out over here before we go the other way. Nothing in there. Um, I think we will leave the 12 gauge. It's too damaged to take the weight up. Caution has not gone away.
Grenade rifle's gonna be too heavy. We'll go up to the, oh, there's a bad bad right there. Ah, oh, this is gonna be fun. Is that a thing? No. Look out, dog meat. Still have caution. Five mil. Medical, missiles, frag mines, and more medical. It's pretty good loot. I guess that's that's about it, eh? I know if we can get up there, or if we're even supposed to get up there. Hey, we just leveled. Fantastic. Okay, let's go. Let's go back down. Yeah, we loaded you already. And we'll go inside and see what's in here. Could mean a glower. Box of detergent. Um, let's take a rad X. There is a glower in here. I want to be ready with this weapon. Okay, we can't go any further that way. Where's that radio at? Taking some serious radiation. Uh, I guess we'll take that lever action rifle. Here, let's uh, turn that off. Good God, we're taking radiation. Big time in here. Might be a place that we come back to with a radiation suit. I didn't think it was going to be this bad.
Oh, the, <laughs> the rats are so bad down here. Oh! Was that a turret? I think that was a turret. All right, well, yeah, they make that clanking noise. Um, we can't, we can't be in here. Not, not without a radiation suit. So, you know, like several of these other random PI, POIs, we may come back here at some point and do it and, or maybe we'll get a quest to do it, but yeah. Ow. <laughs> okay. Well, let's just head north and uh, go to the HQ. Get these quests turned in, and then we're going to head far north. Oh, you know what? There could still be raiders around here. Let's be careful. All right, nobody in here. Oh, wow. I had no idea this place was so close to the regulator headquarters. Does this do anything? Oh, I think that's one of the places that we can place the, the turrets down. Okay, let's take these off. Find Sonora. You should talk to Sonora. I know I should. There she is. Word reaches across the waste. Yeah, 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 yeah. Then you've been busy. So many of the unjust have been dispatched. Yep. Good deeds should. Yep. Uh, 350 caps. Nice. Okay. Do not let this work. We are now accepted by the regulators. Beautiful. Okay. Let's go in here. And we'll take that stuff because we, we earned it. Because we're accepted. Collect a bounty. Contracted. Select reward. Ammo. We want 308 caliber. Okay. Go back. Bounty. Congratulations, regular. You've done an excellent job. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. More, 100 more caps. More karma. And 14 308 rounds. Okay. Um, we still have the other... Yeah, we still have the other fugitive finger. What happens if we open this again? Yeah, collect bounty. Oh, so... Wait, it says no contract. Huh? A lowered reward. Okay, that's fine. So how much... Do we got 75 caps. Alright, not bad. Uh, okay, let's get another contract here. And see where it's at. Perfect. That's exactly where we want to go, anyways. You should talk to Sonora. Okay. Good to see you again, partner. It's good to see you, partner. May your powder stay dry. Exactly. Yours too. Uh, okay, so let's see. Canterbury Commons is pretty close. We should probably hop over there so we can sell 
and maybe send a few things back to Megaton with the post office box. And then we will work our way to Hilltop Line and also explore the north. Let's do it. So Canterbury is just going to be not too far this way. Oh, you know what, though? The last time I went through here, there was a bunch of badness right on the other side of this overpass here. So we should be ready to rock. Case in point. Goodness. It's a war zone. You know what? Let's do the same thing we did last time. Let's get up on the overpass. Remember there being a bunch of Yao Guai over here, too. There's also a battle going on down there. But let's go see what's going on over here. Don't see anything there. Careful. You don't want to go falling off of that. Oh, dog meat's down there. <clears throat> okay, there's some Yaguay over that way. I should have told him to sit still. See a, a soldier over there. A dead one. An enormous scorpion. And something else. What is that? A mole rat? Yep. Okay, those two are down. The scorp is over there. And that scorpion's dead now, too. Raider's dead? Oh, that's an ant, not a scorpion. All right, well, I don't know if we killed everything, but we certainly got mo the majority of them, so whatever else might still be down there, we should be able to handle. Um, and we'll take that brain bot out, too. Something there. Yagwai. We killed 50 Yagwai. We are a Yagwai hunter. Why that matters, I have no idea. But we did it. Okay. Let's run down and grab these robot parts and then we'll go get the spoils of war from up there. Scrap electronics. That's what we like to see off those guys.
Somewhere over here we kill the big scorp. Guess it was this one. There's the ant. A raider fighting an enclave bot. Come on, boys. Fresh me. Okay, we still have a caution. That's a talon. We'll take the mods off of him. Uh, I mean, off of the weapon, rather. Chinese assault rifle forged receiver. And we'll ditch that. Ah, that mercenary submachine gun's not worth a whole lot. We'll hang on to it unless we need to chuck something. Guess we'll grab that since we're close. Uh, close to whatchamacallit. Canterbury. Who won that fight down there? I saw a Yao... Yao got a Yao Guai chasing something. Whomever he was chasing, he probably killed. All right, we have a caution from something. Chinese radio beacon signal found? Oh, shit. Dog meat. That scares me. That scares me when you do that. Um, if we go... So it's right around in here. Bison, bison. Bison, bison. I don't know what Vaisun Vaisun means. Metal armor is in pretty good shape. Bison, bison. We lost the beacon there. Bison, bison. I can't get to that thingy. Okay. 
Okay, we lost the signal. So it's like right around in here. I don't even know what I'm looking for, though, is the thing. I mean, there's like a briefcase there, but I can't loot it. I don't know if that has anything to do with anything, but... That's the only lootable item I see in this area. Lose the signal right there. Huh. I don't know. Can't spend all day though. There's a uh, Go check this car out. Let's grab that since we're going to go sell here. Yeah, I don't know what I'm supposed to do, so let's just go. Can't spend all day, like I said. Damn. Two of them. We're still in danger. What are we in danger from? Scorpion. Jeez, dog meat. Ran right. In front of my gun shot there. Thing is, is that little guy's tough, man. Like, actually a little too tough, I think. <laughs> but I'm not sure how to change that, so it is what it is. Slave map. What is that all about? Alright, so it's not an actual note item. I don't know. I don't know what I'm supposed to do with that. As far as you would like All right. To go. Unfortunately, we don't have a trader here. To never worry. So we're going to just ship stuff back and I'll grab it and deal with it later. We could see what uh, oh, you Joe has. Sometimes he has doctor's bags. 
Only the best. Look at that. Hand picked from the waste. Okay, so we're gonna take what that. What that's worth. I'll take those and those splints. And then I will sell you some whiskey. Um some ant meat, some yao guai meat. And it looks like that's all. Uh, we could sell them. Let's grab a water from him, too. And maybe all these steamed fireworks. Thanks. Careful out there. Hey, this place gets so boring. Um, yes? How you doing, kid? Sure. <laughs> Uncle Rose. What can old Uncle Rose? How? Okay. Glad. Enjoy. We still have um some of the other traders we could invest in. That's a bummer. I was hoping we'd have a trader there, but we don't. So, okay, I'm going to offload some stuff, and then um, we'll proceed after that. Derek, been hearing good things about your work with the traders. Way to go, man. It wasn't anything much, but thanks. You ought to be proud. That's hard work. So why do you look so blue? It's nothing. Just, you think Machete might like me? I guess that explains all that. <laughs> I think she might, Derek. Somewhere down in there. Wait, no. I mean, forget I brought it up. If you insist, Derek. If you want to talk later, I'm around. So he has got a, got a crush on Machete. Up the town. Oh, thanks, sir. Staying out of trouble? Good, good. I am. I'll be watching you. Okay, get your face fixed. <laughs> okay, we are finished here. Uh, so, yeah, we're going to pretty much just make a beeline straight for our bounty and then hang out up in the northwest for a bit. At least that's the plan until something else crazy happens. So I'll probably cut the camera here until I get pretty close to that area. And as usual, if anything crazy does happen, I will show it on camera. Let's go. That's the end of that. I'll mind my business, you mind yours. It just saved your ass, dude. I thank you. I thank you would have been nice. Rude. Second time I've shot him. Are you okay, boy? No, not that. Dog meat does not require healing. Okay. These are the usual raiders at the power line dent. They always spawn here. See if the Scorps take out the robot. Yep, he's down. Where's the other one? There he is.
You have nothing I want. I'll take the shotgun shells. I guess, what, we don't get fingers if we don't kill them ourselves? Is that what the deal is? Let's see if there's a one in here too. Yeah, so we got a finger off this one because we killed him. A battle rifle? Remember, we need to find um, a hunting rifle for Dave. You know, we could actually sleep here and level. Alright, this is not worth a ton. We'll hang on to it for now. I think we will. Let's go ahead and rest here. Dog meat, you stay on guard. Let's rest for seven hours. Get up at 12.30 a.m. We sleep soundly. Okay. All right, so. Let's just, uh, let's get guns to 75. And. Now, hell, let's just get guns all the way up. We'll just do that until, until we got it and then we can work on other things. Okay. Now, I'm pretty sure I want adamantium skeleton. Where is that? Right here. 50% less damage on limbs. Purifier. 50% damage to melee and unarmed. Yeah, I don't... S I, I want to get these other life givers too, but this is just too good to pass up. So, that's what we shall do. One man scouting party discover a hundred locations. MDPL 16 power station. All right, let's turn that off. These places are usually pretty good for decent loot. Can't open the average safe. Can't do the active average terminal. A cryolator schematic. Okay. Hey, there's a Nuka Cola. Beautiful. We'll be ready to turn that quest in in no time. Scrap electronics. Okay, I think that's all that's in here. Sometimes there's magazines, you know, permanent magazines in here, but for points, but I don't see one. Okay, let's go. Wait, there's a dog. Scavenger's dog. Where's the scavenger? Oh, over here. Yeah? Yeah. Everything has it. Let's sell the battle rifle. And they have the rad scorpion glands and the mantis leg. And the empty blood packs. Okay. Thanks. Whatever. Thanks and whatever. Okay. That's Republic of Dave there. But we're not going to go back there until we have a hunting rifle for him. Are you... What the hell are you doing?
Get him. Get him, dog meat. He's running off. Are you... Oh, you're dead. Did you kill that scorp? Man, we're still way the hell up in the northeast. That's the town that had all the uh, death claws in it. I think that place was called Wagner's Cavern or something. We need a key to get in there. It looks like the Meyer Lurks have repopped, or some of them anyway. Nope, there's the Meyer Lurk King right there. Alright, I think we're gonna avoid old 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 knee here. Because if all the rest of that shit has repopped, then all the death claws over here most assuredly have too, so I just think I'll give them a wide berth this time. Since we annihilated them last time. Well, except for maybe that one. Leave that scorpion alone. Okay, let's just head west down this road for a bit. Robots, scorpions, and yagwais. Why I went. Got a raider over here. Correction, had a raider over there. All right, so this is actually about as far west as we've been, and we're still not to the center of the map yet. And we're getting up into some mountainous territory. There's more bots over there. Bots and bloat flies and mole rats, it looks like. But let's move up through here. Well, this is a good place for an ambush. You know, I don't remember if I ever even... Uh, came up this way the last time I played this game. Does not look familiar.
There's some kind of shack or something over here. This isn't our actual destination. Oh, super mutants. So we found a mutant camp. And gunfire down that way. Oh, they've got a captive. No more games. Yep, no more games. If I pick this up, will that count as Dave's hunting rifle? Actually, hold on. Uh, data... Quests. Well, I guess that's not even really a quest. All right. That tri beam's probably worth a little bit of money. Yeah, two hundred fifty-three caps. Cliff Top Shacks. All right, let's get uh, set this prisoner I'm free. Over here. Haven't we? Haven't we already set you free like twice now, lady? <laughs> she never learns. Either that, or she's just one unlucky person. <laughs> there you go. Yep. Here I am. I don't think I'll take the laser rifle. He says as he picks up the laser rifle. Actually, can I use it to repair the other one? I can't. And I don't want to... Well, what the hell? We'll hang on to it for now. Uh, I don't want to burn a repair kit on that. Yes, it is time for you to die. All right, let's set the captive free. My, thank you. Thank you so much. I thought I was dead for sure. Here, I managed to hide these supplies before they tied me up. You take them. It's the best I can do to thank you. All right, well, considering this is the third time I've rescued you, lady, yeah, maybe I will take them this time. <laughs> it's not like I need more karma anyways. Here, thank you again. I'm going to try to make it home, if it's still there. And stay there this time. Please. Okay. Oh, she gave us 12-gauge rounds. Four. <laughs> Better to kick in the balls, I guess. Okay, let's go into each one of these sheds. And um, let's get the big gun out in case we run into supers inside. Yeah, supers. Help! Okay. Um, Help! La lady, I think I've rescued you before, too. I'm... I'm alive! Yes, you are. I can't believe it! Yep. I'm alive! You are alive. Here, I managed to hide this stuff before they tied me up. You take it. Okay. I'll take it. Now get out of here. They won't catch me again. I we'll see about that. Okay, what do we get? We got a new Coca Cola. <laughs> okay, we'll take all this. Well, most of the stuff off of her. Ooh, nice. Uh, there's Pugilism Illustrated, a blood pack, duct tape. Can't open that safe. Take the frag grenade off the super. And the ammo off of that guy. Okay. 
Okay, I guess that's it. Let's try this one. Okay. No bad bads in here. All kinds of bottle caps right there. Grognak the Barbarian. Bunch of shoddies. And I think that's all we're going to take from in here. Permanent melee weapons. Get rid of that crap. Okay. Let us continue on. And we're just mildly hurt. Let's get ourselves topped off here. Do I have a rat away? I don't. I've got rad X, but not rad away. Man, got a shit ton of expired stim packs. All right, go west, young man, or in my case, old man. It's a dead bot. And a live bot. No. Correction. A dead bot. Big ass scorpion. We're getting close. Get him, dog meat. I prefer dog meat to fight those things because they have a high chance of causing disease if they touch you. Looks sus. Green plants? What in the hell's going on over here? Oh, what is this? This must, I wonder if this is a DLC. Let's do a big save here. I don't think these guys are gonna attack me outright. Outsider, you have arrived. Please come closer. I have something of the utmost urgency to speak to you about. Oh, this is the place where we get the soil. Nice. Okay, cool. Do hurry. He doesn't like to be kept waiting. Okay, Tree Father Birch. All right, so it doesn't look like they're going to attack us outright. Look at this place. 
I'm so glad you're here. It's been a while since anyone's visited us, and he's been waiting for someone like yourself to arrive. Who's he? If you wouldn't mind following me, I'll bring you right to him. Him. Okay. Just a minute. Who are you and what is this place? I'm sorry. In my excitement, I got ahead of myself. I'm Tree Father Birch, and I have the great fortune of being leader of his people, the Tree Minders. Okay. Beyond that gate is our home, Oasis. Uh, the Tree Minders? Yes. We're the Tree Minders. We're his people. If you'll just follow me inside to the pavilion, all will be explained. Hmm. Um. All right. Excellent. Please follow me. All will be explained soon. Welcome, outsider. You are welcome amongst us, outsider. Branch tender maple. Wooden gate to the oasis. Look at this place. I don't think this is vanilla content. <laughs> well, well, I I think it's tied in with our garage quest, anyways. This is cool, though. This is the first time we've seen any. Ooh, are they gonna get mad if I pick that apple? Fresh apple. Oh, look at that. Oh, if only I had some caramel to go with it. Nice. What is this? Basin of purification. All right. We probably better Hi. not. How are you today? Um, May you remain oh. under the canopy of his protection. Let's not screw with something until we're done with this guy. You have no idea how overjoyed I am to see you. Normally, outsiders are forbidden inside Oasis, but he has made an exception. Okay. Are you going to tell me who he is? I can't explain it, but I can feel this place just teeming with life. This place is weird. Where do you plug stuff in? This place scares me. So, Um... I mean, yeah, the place is definitely teeming with life, whatever life giver's supposed to mean. That's his power you feel, outsider. With his outstretched limbs, he shelters us and keeps us safe. Okay. Yeah, who is it that you keep referring to as him? He is the one who grows. He is the one who gives, and he is the one who guides. Okay, is his name like Tom, Dick, or Harry, perhaps? Uh, a name? No one speaks his name out of reverence for his majesty. Oh, brother. Thanks to him, the tree minders have a home. All right. Um, look, Birch, I might help you, but you've got to tell me who this he guy is. Uh, I don't have enough speech for that. What? You're a bunch of lunatics. Well, I, I think it's fairly obvious why they call themselves tree minders, but let's ask anyways. We care for this place and keep it safe from those who would seek to exploit it. He gives to us, so we give back to him. It's an arrangement that's worked well for almost two decades. We shun technology and embrace nature. That's the life of a tree minder. Okay, uh, yeah. Why are you carrying weapons then? Sadly. The wasteland is a hostile place, and sometimes we're forced to defend ourselves against it. All right, so maybe it's not such a good idea for you to completely shun technology and weapons, then. You need to rethink things, dude. If that means fighting with manufactured weapons, then so be it. Right, okay. Had he not asked to see you, you never would have gotten this close to the gates. Right. Okay, which, yeah, brings us to why I'm here. Yes, indeed it does. Sorry, I don't speak to outsiders very often, and I tend to get lost in conversation. You think? As you approached Oasis, 
He said you were coming, and I was sent out to meet you personally with a request. Okay. He wishes to meet with you. You'd be the first outsider to do so in a very long time. Okay. Um, and where can I find this dude? Yes. Person. To meet him, you must undergo the ceremony of purification. Once that's complete, you'll be able to speak to him. Oh, you shitting me. <laughs> I just want... Can I just get a little bit of soil and I'll be on my way? And some apples? Whenever you're ready, we may begin. Oh, for Pete's sake. Okay, yeah, what does this ceremony involve? It's simple, really. You drink the sap from the basin here in the pavilion. The sap will purify your mind and body of anything harmful that could possibly hurt him. That sounds like you're going to drug the fuck out of me. I assure you, nothing harmful will happen to you. Sure, I'll take your word for it. Um, all right, I guess we'll do it. I'm sure I'm going to regret this. Very good. Take your place in front of the basin and let's begin. You know, maybe this is vanilla content because he's using one of the normal vanilla names. Uh, I'm voices. I'm sorry. I mean, sapling you. Okay. Um. Before we do this, you mind if I grab a couple more apples? Wait, I don't see any more apples. What is this place? Okay, we're not getting in there via lock picking. I'm just kind of looking around. Oh shit! Why are you leaving? Um, I'm looking for apples. Sorry, I'm ready. Is this the way we came in? I don't see any more apples. Well, that's how we came in. All right. Well, here, let's just do it. What's wrong? Why are you leaving? Uh, sorry, I'm ready. Then. What's wrong? <laughs> I'm Why coming. Okay, drink the sap. We will now recite the blessing to ward off any harm the outsider may be carrying before he proceeds to the grove. I bid you depart, agents of destruction, through the power of his divine will. Leave our homes and bodies immediately. Live no longer in them, but pass over into places where you can harm no one. In the name of his frondescence, I call his wrath upon you, so that wherever you may go, you bear it with you. And, diminishing from day to day, you may disappear, except where you serve the health and good purposes of mankind. May no trace of you be found. All this, may he be so good as to grant us, who is to come to judge the living and the dead, and the world by his verdure. Amen. Soon... You will pass peacefully into sleep, Outsider. And when you awake, you will witness his glory firsthand. When I awake, you'll rob me blind and I won't have any weapons on me. I knew I shouldn't have done this. It's a bad idea. Completed. Undertake the tree minder ceremony. Okay. Did you take my weapons? Oh, they didn't take my weapons. All right. So, now what do I do? Oh, don't walk into the water. Oh, are you the, are you the tree guy? Talking tree. Come around to where I can see you. <coughs> uh, what the actual fuck? Glad to see you're finally awake. I can't believe they made you do that stupid <laughs> ceremony. All right, maybe I like this guy after all. 
He kind of looks like a super mutant embedded into a tree. They listen when I talk, but they don't hear. You know what I mean? I think I know what you mean. Um, I must be dreaming. I've never met a talking tree before. Okay, what's the trick? I know there's a guy with a microphone somewhere. <laughs> um, I've never met a talking tree before. That is the honest to God truth. Neither have I. Well, I mean, I talked to Herbert, but he never really says anything back. <laughs> Do you, Herbert? Okay. He kept growing around me. Maybe for calling him Herbert all the time. His name's really Bob. I think it's funny when I call him Herbert, though. <laughs> Dude, have you smoked one too many cigarettes? I mean, cigarettes are probably bad for trees as well as people. Just saying. Uh, so you're trapped in there inside this Herbert. I mean, Bob thing. I'm beginning to suspect you weren't always this way. What the hell are you talking about? Um, uh, yeah, I don't think you have always been this way, have you? Well, you're quite clever. Thank you. See, Bob used to ride around on top of my head. Sunk his roots right in there, you know? Yeah, it kind of looks like he did. Well, eventually he got bigger than me, and then I pretty much ended up inside. <laughs> okay. Um, how did the tree end up growing out of your head? It was a long time ago. I tend to lose track. Okay. I was exploring some sort of a military base with some other people. I think it was called Mariposa. Mariposa. We were pretty deep inside and we found some weird vats of this nasty green goo. Right when we were about to leave, I <sighs> think we were attacked. Yeah. Last thing I remember before blacking out was something knocking my friend into the stuff. Okay. Uh, well, hopefully your troubles will be over. I'm here to help. So the tree miner said you needed my help. Yeah, Tree Miner said you needed my help. What's up? Yes. Yes, I do. Or, I guess, we do. Me and Bob, that is. Okay. I had you brought in here to ask a very simple favor. Would you please kill me? Um... You want me to murder you? Kill you? You can't be serious. Sure. Where do you want the bullet? Head or cut? <laughs> I... I mean... He doesn't look like he's... Has very good quality of life. Um... Are you sure that's what you want me to do? Oh, no. No, 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 no. It wouldn't be murder... You'd be doing me a favor. Like putting you out of your misery kind of thing. You see, I've been stuck here for over two decades now, rooted right into the ground. Okay, yeah. The only friends I've got are Bob and those weirdos out there who think I'm a god. Yeah, they do think you're a god. And they are weirdos. I agree. How would I be able to kill you? You're a tree. If I kill you, the tree miners will come after me. Well, that'll be a lot more dangerous for them than me. Yeah, uh... 
Can't you just kill yourself? Now, how exactly am I supposed to do that? I can barely move anymore. He's got a good point. <laughs> okay. Um, Thanks to Bob, I'm obviously not going to be doing anything for a very long time. Okay. Um. Yeah, what about your followers if I kill you? Oh, no, no, don't worry about them. When you decide to go down there, I'll have a little chat with Birch and the rest of the gang. How are you going to do that if I kill you? I don't understand. They usually don't understand a word I say, but I'll make them come around. Okay. Um... <laughs> I'm not charity. You want to die? Cuff? No. Okay. How how am I supposed to kill you, dude? I don't have a chainsaw. Actually, I do. I've got a ripper. Come think of it. How to put this? I've been feeling rather spread out lately. I think Bob's kind of shoved my insides around some. <laughs> Okay. It's hard to tell where everything is, but it's always that way with one's insides, isn't it? I wouldn't know. Anyway, I believe Bob's carried some of my organs into his root system. I want you to go underground and destroy my heart. Gotcha. Okay. Um, as I'm trying to think about it, I'm not, I mean, I, I mean, it's not like I want to kill you, but I kind of understand your predicament. And if you've been stuck in this form for 20 years and you want to get some relief, I don't blame you. I'd probably ask the same thing after 20 years. All right, I'll do it. You will? Yeah. <sighs> Oh, you, you made us so happy. Oh, oh, isn't that right, Bob? Are you sure Bob's going to be happy about this, too? Just, just give me a little time to say goodbye to good old Bob, and then I'll be ready. Okay. Well, goodbye for now, then, Herbert. Or what's it, Bob? Uh... Fine. What the hell do I call you, Herbert? Uh, yeah. Bye, Herbert. No, no. Herbert is the tree. Bob is his real name, but I call him Herbert because I think it's pretty funny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. But I'm still in here, too. What's left of me? The name's Harold. Harold. Okay, Harold. Okay, so enter the caves below and destroy Harold's heart. Gotcha. All right, so... We saw... We saw the caverns in the other place, but... Do we have to go back to the other place? I don't really want to go down in that water. Here, let's look at the map for a minute. Enter the caves below and destroy Harold's heart. Okay, so yeah, it looks like we have to go back out of here. These nut jobs aren't going to be too happy with me killing Harold. Oh, the 
This place is wonderful, isn't it? It's... Yeah, it's beautiful. Alright, are they, are they gonna try and stop me? Okay, hold on. I'm surprised they didn't take my weapons away. I have a feeling like they're gonna try and stop me. Okay. And I'm telling you, you oh. got it all wrong. Why else would he have called for an outsider's assistance? The outsider is here to deliver us from our enemies. To keep this place safely locked away from the wasteland, not to exploit us. How can we preach about peace when all you want to do is keep his gift all to ourselves? That's not what he would want. If we allow the spread of this miracle to continue, we're putting him in jeopardy. I can't allow that. I won't allow it. Once again, my husband, we are at an impasse. I suggest we speak to the outsider. Agreed. I can't move, Why by the way. Why else would the outsider have been allowed into the grove? Perhaps it's a test. Yes, that must be it. Okay. I know why you're here, and despite what my wife thinks, I know you'll do what's best for Oasis. After all, he chose you, and he would never want to put us in harm's way. I'm afraid Harold isn't a god. He's just a human that's had some bad luck. He's not a god, Birch. His name's Harold. Can we just dispense with all the religious crap? His name's Harold. Um, I mean, I don't want to antagonize these people. Antagonize these people unless I have to. Um, I have a feeling like he's not going to like any of these answers. But this is the truth here. So. Oh, he's testing you now, <laughs> just like he tested us. Typical religious answer. Yeah, sure. He wants to see if your faith is strong by spinning these incredible That's stories. exactly it. Yep. Who else but a god could produce all uh -huh. of this? Uh-huh. Who else? Right. Don't worry. You'll soon see things as I do. I hope to God that I don't believe in that that doesn't happen. Um, did you ever know your god wants... Did you know your god wants me to kill... No, don't tell him that. Are you aware that Harold wants it? No. Did you know the crazy tree... Harold makes unusual... Yes, he makes unusual requests. The great one does tend to speak in riddles. But if that is his way, then so be it. That's right. We gotta follow his way no matter what. My talks with him have become quite puzzling of late. I think he's beginning to fear his future. He's a god. He doesn't fear a future. The Great One's influence is growing, and soon it will break free of the confines of this secluded veil. Yeah, you could say that after a fashion. We can't allow Oasis to call attention to itself like that. It would be the end of him. Okay. Um, killing him to stop his influence from spreading. Good. Free fire. <laughs> uh, well, I mean, he still doesn't know yet that I'm going to kill him. I don't think. What do you want me to do? If the same sap that you drank to purify yourself could be applied to his heart, it should stop the spread. Wait a minute. The spread of what exactly, though? I, you lost me, dude. I can promise you no harm would come to him. That's all I ask of you, outsider. Nothing more, nothing less. Uh-oh. I love Birch, but sometimes I think he doesn't see the big picture. I agree with you. The spreading of his influence is not a curse. It's a great miracle. A benefit meant for the entire wasteland. Right. Okay, so... So Birch doesn't want his influence to spread because then he's afraid people will find out about the Oasis and come and ruin the place. But you are even more nuts than your husband because you think his influence needs to spread because it's a miracle and all that bullshit. Right. Okay. Uh, doesn't anybody care what your god thinks? Why don't any of you listen to Harold? This, uh, yeah. Why don't you care about what your God thinks? Of course we do. He yearns to share his miracles with the whole world, to give the gift of life back to the dead wasteland. I, I don't think that's what he yearns for. Okay, yeah. Whatever you say, lady. It's upsetting him to no end, but Birch can't see the pain it's causing. Okay. Now that you're here. 
I have a feeling the winds are about to change. Ah, uh, they're going to change, all right. How can I help? I heard what my husband wanted you to do. What I propose is an alternative. All right, what's your alternative? The same person that created the sap also created this liniment. If you can reach his heart, it will assist him in making his influence increase. Instead of centuries, the wasteland will become green in mere decades. Just imagine how glorious that would be. Right. No more like this left in the world anymore, eh, outsider? Okay, Birch's sap stops the growth. Laurel's liniment accelerates the growth. What do you have to say for yourself? Branch tender cypress at your service. Welcome to our little home. Thank you. Um, would you have to be? What's your opinion of Tree Father Birch and Leaf Mother Laurel? I wish they wouldn't argue so much. It makes everyone uncomfortable. Okay. Uh, how'd you become a tree miter? Actually, you already did some of it. I had to do the ceremony and meet with the Great One. Right. Then Tree Father Birch taught me everything I needed to know about Oasis and how it has to remain a secret. Okay. That's why I'm so worried. I just think letting this place spread into the wasteland would be an unwise decision. I agree with you. I think you're right. Who knows what would happen to this place? Exactly. I was out there once, like you. I wandered the wasteland for many years. All I saw was poverty, famine, sickness, hate, and death everywhere I turned. It's mostly that everywhere. Except for my garage is pretty nice, though. <laughs> no famine, poverty, sickness, hate, or death there. But this place... This place isn't anything like that. We can't let all that evil inside here. We just can't. I don't disagree with you. Um, so how did you end up here? I was an outsider like yourself, wandering the world aimlessly, wasting my life trying to seek my fortune. Okay. When my eyes beheld the splendor of Oasis, I knew I'd found a holy place. Tree Father Birch allowed me to stay, and I've been here ever since. Hey, man, whatever floats your boat. Um, can I have the key to the cave, please? Sure. Here you go. Good luck to you. So you're just going to give it to me? I guess so. <laughs> okay, bye. I trust we'll speak again, outsider. I hope we can speak again without me having to shoot you. Time will tell. Okay, so let's turn our light on. And I don't know what kind of dangers we're going to run into down here. If any. Well, besides, oh shit, Meyer lurks. That kind of danger. Okay. You coming, dog meat? There's more lurks. Fire lurk king. All right. Dog meat, you're going to have to get out of the way, bud. Yeah, come back over here. Dude, over here. There you go. Okay. Off with his head. Off with his head. I think, uh, but I saw one right over there underneath the water. Alright, 
let's get this one ready. Hmm. All right, yeah, right there. Okay, that's all the bad bads. Well, it looks to me like we're going to have to go in the water. So, let's at least take a Radix. supposed to actually go. Are we supposed to dive underneath? Might as well loot these guys while we're at it, eh? Here we go. No, don't God no, I didn't mean to drink that. Says I'm in danger from a little baby rad roach. That is one big group of brain fungus. What is a uh, what is brain fungus? Is it an, a food item? It is. Right, that's just disgusting, man. <laughs> Even the thought of eating something like that makes me sick to my stomach. Door to the sunken chambers. All right, I hear more Myron works. Myron Lurk Hunter. pretty nasty looking um let's go let's go left alrighty we'll take the duct tape Can I pick this skeleton thingy up? I can't. It's like being kind of a pain in the ass. I want the cherry bombs. We'll take the nitrogen. A silenced... T oh, shit. A 10 millimeter pistol. We'll take all of this. A stealth boy. Baseball glove. All right. I think that's all the good stuff. Rad X is worn off.
There sure is a lot of uh, junk and shit down here. Oh! For this, you know, supposed to be a uh, place of nature. I didn't want to take that. Easy ammo box. Chinese assault rifle, average ammo box, and another stealth boy. Okay. Oh, we're going to have to ditch some of this stuff. Let's get rid of the Chinese assault rifle, the laser rifle. No. The 32. And the let's see, that's worth 82, that's worth 61. Yeah, we'll get rid of the two 32 rifles. I don't have any armor or anything. No. Okay. Oh, I hear another. right there. Yeah, it's just a dead end. I hear the beating of a heart. There it is. Just making sure that the place is secure, or at least the immediate area. Oh, that's the exit. Okay. All right, Harold. Here's to you, buddy. Uh, Harold? What the hell? All right. What are we missing? Oh. All right, we have to choose what we're going to do. Gotcha. Okay. Rest in peace, buddy. I've been exposed to Harold's mutagen and something or other. Okay. Exposed to Harold's mutagen. What does that mean? Um. Oh, no, here we go. Bark skin. You've been exposed to Harold's mu mutation and your skin is now as hard as tree bark. As a result, you've gained a permanent... Plus 5% to DR. Nice. Very good. Well, thanks, Harold. Uh, hopefully I don't grow into a tree, though, because that would kind of suck. Then I'd want somebody to come and shoot my heart. All right. Very good. We put Harold out of his misery. Let's get on back up there and talk to these nut jobs. I don't know if they're going to be hostile towards us or not. 
But we did what Harold asked us to do, not what they asked us to do. I see a Nuka down there. Oh. I find it ironic, though, and this is probably intentional by the devs, that everything is so gross and polluted down here. Uh, open that up. Nice! Our favorite ammo. I'm all about some 308s, baby. Nuka Cola, Nuka Cola Clear, Stim Pack. I don't want a conductor or a lunchbox. I'll pass, but I will take the buff out and the ammo and the pistol. Except for that just encumbered us. Okay, can I repair this? Yes, with the other pistol. Good. That gets us right at 385. Oh, boy, is there anything else I can ditch? We can drink some water. We need to anyway. And let's eat some steamed Mirelark. Okay, good. That lightened us up. to the grove. Alright. Let's do a save here. I don't know what these guys are going to do. Welcome, outsider. Welcome to Oasis. The Great One is dead. Slain by your hand. Don't worry. I hold no grudge towards you. You don't? Okay. You'll have to forgive my people at a time like this, outsider. They aren't used to being so lost. Are you going to explain to me why you're not pissed because I killed your god? And for once, I don't have the words to help them. Yeah, I'm surprised that you're not angry with me. Before you reached his heart, he imparted his last words to me. Oh, he did he say he was going to talk to him. his will to die and how I mistook this for some mystical oh, Okay, sign. I got gotcha. you. Yep. How could I have been so blind? How could I have misled all these people? Well, that's what religion does to you. <laughs> Perhaps if I would have spent more time getting to know him, things would have turned out different. Maybe so. He probably would have appreciated the company. Um, all right, so what are you, what's going to happen with Oasis? Even though the Great One has left us, our memories of him will never die. Okay. With Bloomseer Poplar's help, I'm confident we can keep Oasis alive and carry on as tree minders. You do that. This is actually a nice place, and don't, don't let anybody else in here. Go now, outsider. Go, but never forget the gifts the Great One bestowed upon us. Okay, before I leave, um... Do you have some soil that I can take back with me for my uh, hydroponics area? Oh, there he is. Here we go. Gather fertile soil. Woot. Hot damn. Rest in peace, Harold. You know... You can't really tell by looking at his face, but I think he's happy, wherever he now is. Well, that was a completely unexpected, but kind of a fun quest. Is there any more apples? I want more apples. And the religious people aren't pissed at us, so that's a plus. 
See, when it, when he said he was going to talk to them first, I, I thought he was going to have us kill him, like, right here. I didn't know we were going to have to go, you know, do the whole other thing. So that makes sense now. Uh, yeah, I'll take... Sure, I'll take that. If it's not stealing. Any more apples? I'm also stoked that we finally found... Oh, yeah, look at that. Pears. Oh, dude. Uh, that we found that soil, too, you know? All right, let's see. Other. Miscellaneous ammo components, craft ingredients. Let's get rid of the empty scotch bottle. Um, the fish and batteries. Yeah, that's pretty damn heavy. Let's throw that out, too. <laughs> We're littering in their oasis. Hey, do you mind just picking that we stuff up? Lost. Yes, outsider. Do you mind picking that stuff up and just putting the trash? I'm, I, I'd take it out of here, but if I, if I pick it back up, I won't be able to move. So, yeah. Uh, what will you do now? Whatever the tree father or leaf mother would have me do, I'm still theirs to obey. Okay, your choice. Um, bye. May the sap of his wisdom sustain you. Right. Okay. And don't forget to pick up that litter, because I'd hate to actually leave this place worse than I found it. But man, are there any more pears or apples? Uh, or kumquats, maybe? A kiwi or two? How about a banana? All right, well, that turned out pretty good, actually. I wasn't particularly looking forward to killing these people, even though they are nut jobs. And it turned out that I didn't have to, so that's good. That's a good thing. All right, guys. Well, we're going to wrap up this episode here. Um... I mean, I could go, we, we could go do this. We've been recording for a very long time, A and B. I don't, I just don't have any room left for anything. But, I mean, we are all the way up here, huh? Germantown Police Quarters. Yeah, I think we need to wrap it up. And what I, what I will do... Uh, what I will plan to do is just, I'll go home, you know, do all the all the stuff, the usual, and then I'll I'll hike back up here. And she she's gonna pick that stuff up. She promised me she would. And we'll start the next episode in this vicinity. Didn't I just talk to you? Yes, outsider. Yes, I did. Okay. Uh, don't forget to pick up that trash, okay? Thanks. Love you. Bye. Um, yeah, so that's going to be it for this episode. Thanks, everybody, for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share the video, and I actually lied to you. I will start the next episode back at the base where we will use our soil to finally plant our hydroponics garden, and then we'll come back up here. All right, that's it. Bye-bye.